Hello, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm an Illumins Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. How are you today? So I hope you're doing well. I'm doing very well. I'm back from California, back in Chicago, at a great time in Los Angeles. Thanks to everyone who reached out to me. Thanks to everyone who participated. Thanks to everyone who just reached out and wished me a good time. The people in Los Angeles are really friendly, and I had a great time everywhere I went. Didn't matter if I was at the gas station, the store. If you have an opportunity to visit, please visit. You will really like it. The weather was great. I think I brought a little bit of Chicago weather. We had a little fog one morning, so that was, I think, a bit unusual, but it was familiar to me being October. I hope you're all doing well. So we learned a lot. We had a great time. I'm going to have some other live workshops that I'll be traveling to and some here in Chicago that I'm planning. Those are my three-day workshops because, frankly, one day is not enough to cut it. That's also why, you know, I have classes that are sort of spread out. So today what I want to talk to you about is these energies. November. So we're in November right now. And yeah, it's going to be more of the cosmic weirdness, but a lot of this is going to be up close and personal, and it is going to make you very body aware. There are things you're not going to be able to fix with your mind, no matter what you try to look up. Okay, you could look up all kinds of things. Tarot cards, you're going to look up this or that. This is energy is going to force you to start working with your light body. Plain and simple. I can't say it any simpler than that. Some people have needed that push. Okay? So instead of that karmic two by four upside the head, you're going to get that push because what this energy is, now I'm saying this at the beginning of November, but by the middle of the month, a lot of people are going to be feeling the push. Those of you who have had to advance on this, you are getting the push last month and for some of you you got it earlier in the year so if you've had a sense of a series of feeling like you're dying that's part of it if you've had a sense of really weird baffling illnesses but you're not really sick that's part of it too if you have had a lot of energy around your back and your hips bingo that's it but there's more to it than that and finding out how to shift it and move it is incumbent on you that is what I help people with. Now, this is going to be a November retro. Officially, we've got a Mercury retrograde that starts going November 16th. Uh-uh. It started last night on Halloween, and it's more than the thinning of the veils. It's a big push through the dimensions. You're going to get pushed out of the lower dimensions, out of the fourth dimension. It's going to be weird. The reason for the weirdness is not to throw you off. It's because it's your cosmic level dimensional weirdness. You're not going to figure that out with your head. There's only sorting it with your body. Also, this retro energy. See, I got my teacher's tool here. Um, this retro energy. It's going to seem like a retrograde. You're going to seem like you're on the treadmill that takes you back. And the treadmill takes you back. And you, you know, he's walking, he's walking, and then you're back. Walk, walk, back. It's not even going to feel like one step forward, two steps back. It's going to feel like get your stuff done. Get your sh done. Get it done. If you need to get things done, do it. There's no more messing around about it because I will say something. If you haven't gotten certain things done, it's going to carry over to next year. You can sit with it a minute and you'll wonder where some of this has gone. You'll even wonder if you imagined it. And some people, when they don't know what to do, when they don't have the answers, they throw for something in their mind and they're like, well, maybe it was this. Maybe I imagined it. Maybe there are really this, that, and they start to get more and more confused. I help people to get clarity, the clarity that they need, their specific guidance, by getting your subtle bodies moved. Now, some of this energy is going to be about being in bondage. That bondage just doesn't originate here. 
And this will be up to and including abusive relationships, outdated and expired marriages, attachments to mental, emotional, false people, people you may believe are significant. However, it keeps drifting. This is an energy that for females is going to have a lot to do with your reproduction, your reproductive systems, feelings, your ability to feel. And with feeling, what you sense. Okay, that's been coming through for months and months. A lot of the people I've been working on have had lifetimes here on this earth that have been somehow connected to war, poverty, deprivation, birthing other people's babies that you didn't want to, and all that entails. And there's a lot of fixing and sorting that needs to happen through your bodies. How do you do it? Not with the mind. It has to be done with love and it has to be done with heart energy. So a very simple thing of, you know, well, let me pull a card and see what's going on on the other side. It's going to be your body too. You have two people each with their bodies. That's something we forget. What is my other doing? Don't blame. Don't blame, don't shame, don't judge. Get busy with it. You don't have time for that. It's time to get your things done. So bondage, okay? All aspects of bondage. What are you in bondage to? Is it an addiction? Is it your twin's addiction? Is it gambling? Is it shopping? Is it drugs, alcohol? Because not everyone has drugs and alcohol. Those are the first things we think of, naturally. What are they reliant on? Okay, this is not just codependencies. And relief. What things do you need to do to bring about true relief and release? Not just relief, but release. Okay, some of that is going to happen. Okay. But what about the pain of it? What about the discomfort? And the other aspect of this energy with the retro is to reverse some of the mindsets of in order to be spiritual, in order to be in love, we must live like we're living in a hovel. There but for the sake of love, I will live with you anywhere. I've actually had several people say that to me. Patricia, and I've said this before, Patricia, I would live in a box if my twin were in it with me. You're not intended to live in a box. You're not intended to go down to the appliance store and say, hey, we want a nice refrigerator box. That ain't going to happen. You're not intended to be starving artists for the sake of love. You will have a measure of comfort and material comforts. Material comforts are important. You are a part of the matter here and you matter. Your material connection to this level does matter. You know, giving it the brush off is not going to really help matters. And don't buy into the stuff that, well, in order to be this or that, I must, you know, do this or that. How much sacrifice have you made already? How much do you want to make? Okay. It's going to be what's specific to you. So it is subjective. It will, you know, for some people it will be feather beds. And other people will say I'm allergic to feather beds, but I want that brand new memory foam mattress. Ooh, that, that's really nice. I like that. And other people will be like, ooh, I want a sleep number bed. I like numbers anyway. A lot of you like numbers way too much, and that's very mental. A lot of you like to slice and dice up all of the things about you know, this influence and that influence. I'll tell you what the other influence is. Scorpio. Scorpio is going to be that swift kick in the butt that sometimes is necessary to get movement. It is quick, decisive, fast action. Scorpio's the sting. That's the passion of your union that is pushing really quick and rapid change where you've got to leap out of the way. And you better get it done now. Do it. Do it. Do it now. Okay, you are not getting deeper without body focus. That is the other message here. That has been my message since I started doing videos in 2014. I've got videos that go back to 2014. 
Do you consider yourself a veteran on the path here? Guess what? This month here in the United States, it's Veterans Day this month. But I will say this to you. You might feel like a veteran, like you say, well, I've been on here for 20 years, been doing this, I've been doing that. You may be doing actually some ancient stuff that is no longer what you need to do. Come and find out. Come and check out my material. I am doing an online webinar that will run from 11.11 to the 9th. Now, this is going to pick you up before that surge of energy around the middle of the month and carry you through. And yeah, I'm calling it love for the holidays. We, well, it's not everybody's holiday. We have quite a few people that are in my demographics because I only speak English that have influences, uh, traditional influences, traditions that are around holiday times. And that will be, you know, a lot of people. Does everybody celebrate? No. Do you miss the fun? Yes. Do you want it without, you know, the taint of past years? Yes. Do you want it without interference from your family? Yes. Do you want to go someplace only to find that the food makes you puke, that the atmosphere is strange, that you're not able to enjoy? Well, come and find out some ways to Get your body moving so that you bring back a level of enjoyment for yourself, a level of detachment, detached compassion. Because while those things might make you angry, and I understand, you know, there was once someone in my family that she put cheese on everything at a time when I was lactose intolerant. I fixed the lactose intolerant. I can have cheese and dairy now. I fixed it. I fixed it through my body. Yes, that is a miracle that will be happening for people. I know how to do it. I know how to teach it. And I know how to get it jump-started. But, make a long story short, I once took my brother aside and I said, is she trying to kill me? She wasn't trying to kill me. That was my perspective. I had to change my perspective and actually feel, and it was quite simple. She just loved cheese. She loved cheese and it never occurred to her that other people couldn't digest it or that it gave them pain. And that's a lot of the people around you. She wasn't trying to ruin my holiday. In fact, I really wanted to. I wanted to enjoy the cookies. I wanted to enjoy the creamy delights. Okay? I'm sorry, but nut milks don't always cut it, even though they're delicious all on their own. Rice milk, nut milk, soy milk, buffalo milk, camel milk, goat's milk. It, you know... There's a lot of things to use for all kinds of treats, but they lend a different quality to everything. And, you know, sometimes you just want your little nostalgia trip to feel what is, you know, let me feel that again and have it not have any pain or connections to it. Maybe you want your tradition, you want that with your twin, you know, and you just don't want any of any of it to be flavored by what happened in the past. Maybe, maybe not, okay? But if you do, come and find out how to get your body moving so that you start elevating above some of this stuff. So that you actually are the one that starts to get things on a level that you feel detached from a lot of it, okay? And not like it's dragging on you, draining you. That is another thing that will go with this is a level of exhaustion sometimes like you cannot believe. I've been through it. I know what to do about it. I know what it is, why it is, how to get through it, and how to boost your energy. It's going to be up to you to boost your energy and help each other along. As much as people say, well, someday with divine intervention, the divine intervention has already occurred. That, inter that divine level intervention has already removed things from both of you so that you can finish the job. Because right now you are still in the process of putting things together. So I'm just going to touch on a couple other things here. Getting deeper with each other. Are you deepening your heart communication or does it just feel like constant chatter? Because heart communication is different. It is nonverbal. It's not like it is not at the temples of the head. So if it's happening for you here, 
or around here, eh, that's not where it is. That's not where your guidance is going to be. It's in a different spot on your body. That's the truth of it. It shifted because it shifted on purpose because why? Guess what here? That's where people have been able to tap into each other. Oh, yeah. Telepathy. You want to read minds? You want to uh, sell someone a used car? That's what they tap into. You want to be a drill sergeant and still fear? That's the area. Okay, so you get the idea that for two lovers, it's in a completely different area of your body. It's the heart. Okay, how do you get it there? How do you get the high heart, the highest, so that you're getting the specifics you need? Because it's not going to be what all the other people, all the other children on the playground are doing. Some of those children on the playground, the other people, they're at different speeds. That's another thing that is a misconcept. So there's several misconcepts floating around. There's only one twin flame. While there has been a collective that has come here cosmically, people are leaving those collectives at different speeds. They're conducive with what they are able to do and the damage that they have sustained and the healing that they've already done. Another misconcept Masculine is only in male bodies. I can tell you for sure that masculine exists in both gender bodies. And that, yes, many females do feel that they are embodying the masculine. Many males will feel that they embody the feminine. And not all of them are gay. Not all of them are lesbians. They can be a hetero person who feels that they are embodying the feminine. It is in you. Both are in you. So it's a misconcept out there to say like, you know, like there's a herd of animals like, oh, the herd's moving this way. The herd's moving that way. Now the masculine is doing this. It is sort of, it's, it's oversimplifying something that for your union, you need to get specifics on. Okay. So if you are not getting specifics about your own union and what is going on, if you're struggling to feel and sense, come and see me. We will do an energy session. Or you can get a couple of my webinars. The ones that I would suggest for this time frame is the one that I call Surrender into Full Union. Now, a lot of people don't like this word surrender because in English, this connotes giving up. There's, a, there's sort of this connotation of raising the white flag and saying, oh, I give up. Why? Because I'm going to tell you why. In your search for perfection, you've been trying to make yourself perfect. You're, you may have gotten desperate. You're leaving those lives of quiet desperation. You look back at other failed relationships. You have a lot of emotional investment. Okay, so there's been emotional, energetic, and sometimes monetary investments made in this journey. You're being pushed out of the past hard. You're coming to a lot of realizations, and you've been searching for meaning in this, which is what throws people off because they will sometimes have felt the love a while back, and you've been hanging on and hanging on and hanging on, and you've been doing this in blind faith. And you've been saying to yourself sometimes, what am I exactly hanging on to? Where did my life go? I'm not living my life. This isn't living. Good. You're supposed to notice what's living and what's real living and how you want to live. You're not, that's not really surrender, okay? Surrender means going into your union. And so if you don't know how to fully surrender, I'm just going to say one thing so that it can clarify. This means allowance. So maybe this should say allowing into full union because allowing your higher self to do some things and how to do this, because there has to be connections both ways. Your higher self communicates with you you communicate non-verbally. 
Now, that doesn't mean talking to your twin all day and saying, now I'm doing the dishes. Now I'm going to get in the car. Now I'm going to go buy groceries. What would you like for dinner, dear? Okay, I'm going to pretend to make you a plate. That's all fine and dandy, but that is not her communication. You know how that shows up on the other end? It's, uh, it's like static. It's like... And if you are not helping to clear the spaces around you too, and if your thoughts are not, you know, in the mode of each other and you're thinking, well, should I do this? Should I do that? Should I date people? Should I not? I don't know. I think I'm going to give up. Surrender does not mean give up. In fact, there's several slides just in there talking about what it isn't. Okay. Just like what love is and what love isn't. A lot of you have found out what love isn't in your lives of quiet desperation. Okay. That perfection is not in these human bodies, okay? This is another thing that's sort of a misconcept where people say, you know, I keep working and I keep working and I keep working. You shouldn't stop, but you should take breaks when you need to. However, if you're thinking that you're making this physical body perfect, you're not, okay? These bodies are designed to renew the cells. They're designed to rest. They are designed, they're designed like tanks to house your higher body. The higher body is your perfection. Your subtle bodies is are where you are perfect. Okay. This can be debilitating, it can be discouraging, but I want to tell you that you don't stay there and further. When you take steps to try and deepen, okay, you will, you will get that. Okay, so, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go out on a limb here and say that uh, all of us have had some kind of failed relationship, whether it's our, you know, childhood crush or a marriage that failed or we met someone and they ghosted us and we saw white picket fences and, oh, we're going to move in. And, you know, you planned your wedding in that moment when they smiled at you. Because people do that. that. Hey, someone likes me. I really felt a connection. And then it just goes somewhere. And what is that all about? I know what that is about. And I know where it's connected on your body and how to detach it so that you can actually connect higher and connect deeper with the person who is your true love, your true twin flame. Because the connection is with you. Your heart he has that connection. Now, if you are also feeling that there's something nagging at you, there's something like, it feels like I want to do something, and you're not sure if you should call it your mission. Okay, I'm going to tell you what, uh, really specifically what this energy is about, because to their credit, men seem to jump on this kind of energy a lot swifter than females do. Females will tend to, and it's no, not good or bad, it's just sort of how we're socialized. Females tend to try to work it out, try to smooth it over, try to, you know, make excuses and things like that. But it's going to have for the feminine a lot to do with what's comfortable for you, um, being self-sufficient, being yourself. Okay, so I've been hearing this a lot. I was actually at the airport when I was leaving, and there was this man and woman, and I don't know if they were with each other. I couldn't really tell if they were spouses or relatives. But the man said something to the woman, and she said something. She said, I'm speaking up for myself. I'm, I'm speaking up right now, I'm, and I'm speaking up for myself. She was this close to letting it get argumentative, but he walked away. You know, he went to go comply with whatever she was saying, because she was saying, you know, I'm telling you what I want, okay? I also heard it on the flip side. You know, as I was outside my Airbnb, I heard someone walking to his car to go to work, and he was walk, talking as he was walking, saying, I said good morning to you. How many times do I have to say good morning? Good morning. I don't know. How many times do you need to be told good morning? I, I don't know. It just, he had an edge in his voice. He was upset. He was perturbed about it. Was he going to let it ruin his day? Maybe. 
And when things like that happen between twins, okay, that part of the separation, you're actually not going to be in those modes of this nitpicky stuff, but your body will want to get rid of it. It's going to want to get rid of a lot of, you know, day in and day out stuff. And that's a part of it. A lot of us are very capable of putting on our capes when there's a crisis. But unfortunately, it takes a crisis to get some movement sometime. A lot of you have known deep in your heart. So if you're honest with yourself, yeah, I'm looking at you. Are you being honest? Are there things you know deep in your heart that need to change? You don't have to tell me about it. Come and see me. I'll just feel your energies and we will get it shifted and moved because it's going to be the fastest way. It's also going to be the fastest way to not take things on blind faith where you're saying, I can't see it, I can't see it. Okay. You do see in the higher levels when you get there, but getting there is important. Now, are there, are there things that are upsetting you about this journey and this twin flamey stuff. Because I've had some people reach out and say, Patricia this, Patricia that. Do you know what's being, guess what? I'm not going to be a referee. I've always been around the body. And that's always been what I've been teaching about. Teaching you about your body. Teaching you how to detox. Teaching you how to get out of situations teaching you how to smooth it over and make it as amicable as possible with people about all of the things that you're in relationship with. You are in an eternal union already, meaning your union energies already exist, regardless of whether you are living with the person or not. It exists. You also are in relationship to other things. So you're simultaneously closing the door. That's the closure that happened at the lion's gate. A lot of the things you haven't been able to close out and just kept repeating and repeating and repeating. Now it's new and a lot of people have a fear of the unknown. How's it going to look? What are we going to do? You got to help create it. Do you know how to create it? Part of it is going to be with what you want. It's going to be with those material things that a lot of people snub their nose at and yet, when they when push comes to shove and they start being without those things, you better believe they're in a scramble. Sometimes they're in a desperate scramble, wondering where's the money for this going to come from? How did that happen? Why did this break down? Okay? If you are still living karmically, you will find that your resources drain out in really ridiculous ways. And that's just a little bit of an eye-opener that I'm giving to you because that's what I'm seeing. And I don't like to see that. I don't like people's resources to be drained for like foolishness. Okay. The, the things that, you know, it's like throwing good money after bad. And if any of your takeaways from this are that you are here because you chose to be here not only you were you chose, but you are chosen because you chose it. Yes, you are a chosen one. So being here and going through some stuff is a prerequisite for being here. It's a bit, little bit like going through basic training. Okay, now you're coming into a much more higher level, which is a little bit more advanced. And you still have to get back to some basic stuff, which is what I teach. So how do you surrender into your union? Also, expansion of love. How do you expand yourself? I have an excellent meditation in here that is very specific for releasing things very easily. Doing it three nights in a row and you will find out that it's a very, very easy way to do something that has taken sometimes people months to do. Erasing the past. How do you get rid of the past? How do you stop seeing it? How do you stop seeing that X? How do you stop the dreams where people just show up and you're saying, where are all these people coming out of the woodwork? Because that's going to happen. People show up out of the woodwork. Why is my ex there? Why is this person there? What, what just happened? Where is this going? What, what's happening on the other side? Your mind will have questions. So I do satisfy the mind with quite a bit of 
information, written information, as well as what to do and meditations. These meditations are designed to bring about changes through the connections to the causal body and the ego so that you can move through it much more swiftly than you would normally. Those are my connections from the higher dimension. So, and I've personally been through it. I'm not just preparing this stuff like, you know, someone who hasn't done it. I have personally done it. So, uh, if you would like, join my webinar, Love for the Holidays. It is only $30. I'm running it for several weeks on a Sunday morning, Sunday morning, Central Time, 9 till 10.30 a.m. This is a great time for uh, Europe. It's your afternoon on a Sunday. You can devote some time to yourself there. Or in the United States, it's anywhere from the uh, morning to the afternoon. And if you are, uh, I think if you are in Australia, it's going to be your Sunday evening. And, you know, hopefully this is doable for a lot of people. I try to set it at a time zone that makes sense for, you know, quite a few people in their time zone. Reach out to me for a private one-on-one -on -one session. Yes, I do private one-on-one -on -one sessions. It can be chat, uh, my spirit chat, which is also for updates or refreshing or the causal body. And I will be having a new session that I'm doing, uh, which will require about four times to get some of your psyche subtle body energy moving. And that will be very helpful. So there you have it. I, my website is www.twinflamesmerge.com or email me twinflamesmerge at gmail.com. Thanks so much. It's going to be in November to dismember the things that have troubled you and harmed you and hurt you. But you are the one that has to get yourself integrated, upgraded, familiar, and really adept at you know, the what to do because there will be some other cycles coming up. Um, power surge around the 15th, and it's already starting. So thanks so much for watching, and reach out. Have a really good rest of your week. Okay, bye.